Hey, what's up, YouTube? Triple C here. Um, I'm going to do a real quick comic haul. I uh, collected a couple books, you know, nothing nothing major in this haul, but just some cool stuff I want to share with you. And, um, you know, I got a decent little story then. Okay. So, um, just to get started, I, it's late. So, <laughs> I'm trying to get this out before I get in trouble. <laughs> like, if you watched my last video, you, you know what I'm talking about. So, basically, I told Lady C I was going to bed. I ended up staying up and doing a video for a conscious entry and um, she kind of popped up on me and I just couldn't stop laughing in the video so that's why you guys <laughs> that way you guys know what was going on on my end all right oh so for this all here we go so kill to be kill I have number one the first print I don't know if this is a, I don't know which print this is I didn't even open this up uh, I'm just excited to see an all red background you guys already know what's up so I'll pick this one up just because of the red background. I have number one, two, and three, I believe, of this. The story from Brew Baker and um, Sean Phillips has been, you know, doing pretty well. So I just wanted the second print just because I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so this next one is based off my boy Undisputed Frost. He did a review with um, Punisher eighty eight, if I'm not mistaken, on. Even number one, it's about this female Viking lesbian. Um, that's some other, I can't forget all the details, but he made it sound like a really good story, man. So I had to pick it up. And um, I, I, this is the absolute last one um, on the show. So the thing about my local, com my actual local comic book shop, this is really small. Like, seriously, like, it has two bookshelves of like new comic book stuff. One side is DC and Marvel, the other side is, um, you know, independent stuff. And in the back is like uh, one and two dollar books. That's really it. It's like two short boxes of one dollar and two dollar books. That's it. The rest is all magic cards and crap <laughs> that I'm not interested in. But to those that are, I'm not crapping on them. It's just, I go in there to buy books and it's just very little books. And they get to spend all day doing their thing. But they're, they're excited to have it so good for them so it was i was excited to see a copy there with this one all right um like i said i'm going this pretty fast i told lady c i'll be in bed soon so but i'm really not going to bed it's just if you guys have not played a new ghost recon oh my god that junk is fun um i have a ps4 if you guys want to play with me my name all there is m camp all right m c a m p <laughs> and we can get down all right i love that game um but this this one right here, shameless plug. This one right here is La Murta. Basically, I told you guys I was getting into this whole uh, day to day stuff. I found this comic book, a part of that. Um, but this is the Groundhouse Grand House Edition. Um, it comes with like a little certificate thing too. So you can see that. Um, but um so this female here she was in the military she got out uh she came back home and it's just totally different from that you know so if you picture scalped this is like the female version of scalp that's the best way i can put it so you guys um understand what i mean okay well all right so the next stuff is just nothing big just cheap 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 stuff i found everything <laughs> like i told you guys i'm trying to cut back a little bit so Harlequin number 15, 17, um, Aztec the Ultimate Man, I believe. I don't know too much about it. Just thought it was pretty cool. Joker cover. Uh, Convergence, just a cool Gotham City Sirens cover. Like everyone knows, the Convergence stuff was shit, so, um, artwork was okay sometimes. Steel number one, that's pretty cool. Black, um, Superman, and but not. He's just a big, strong dude who's in like a crime-ridden city. I read it. It's pretty. It's okay. It's okay. It's not like the suit to be hot as hell, but you know, it's like an Iron Man type of thing. Nothing special about this one at all. And I totally did this haul wrong. I meant to do. I meant to do my Marvel stuff first. Why did my DC? I'm gonna pause here because I know you guys probably tired seeing this crap anyway. So this this is Night Queen 142. Uh, nothing special about this. I really, for some reason, I thought it was a dark side. 
uh, then I was like, no, it's not. But by then I had that to register because Dark Side going hand in hand or Nightwing going hand in hand with Dark Side, that wouldn't even be a fight. Uh, we are know just nothing against nothing against Nightwing. Just so yeah, so I'm pausing my DC stuff, guys. I'm sorry. It's just I meant to do this a different way. So uh, I'm pausing. I'm sorry. So mm, I'm start here. America number one, the Coast to Coast Comic Con edition. Just a really cool uh, book of Chavez. Uh, I I love all these next ones for obvious reasons. So Daredevil one eleven, first appearance of Lady um, Bullseye. This is just a very awesome cover by. Mark Terjikovic. I know if I said the name right. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. I love the red and blacks. Love the artwork. Um, to me, it's just, it's, it's this thing. I'm a man. She's very. It spoke to me. Okay, so had to get it. Had to get it. Um, in Human vs. X Men, just a really. You guys know I love Medusa, man. She was one of my favorite characters. From the Inhumans or Marvel period, as far as the women of Marvel, uh, but awesome, awesome Terry Dotson rendition of her. No, it's, it's the eyes, so I'm gonna turn it to where I wish I can do this better. Okay, it's too bright. I apologize. It's late. All right, so this next book, um, I told you guys before if I could find it, I'm gonna get it because I thought it looked amazing with the one I showed. I think in my last one. So I showed this in my last all right. So um can you see it pretty well? Yes. Right. Doesn't those two look amazing side by side? Or Adams did his thing. Now, I was torn between either getting this or the Inferno. I figured I could find Inferno whenever. Um, you know what I'm talking about. The uh, Addy G Addy Grand Off. So I picked up this one just because I don't see this one coming out too often. There's one on eBay right now. Um, last I checked, it had like two days, I think, left, and it, the bids are around $83. I paid 30 for this one, so I think I did okay. It's not, it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong, it's not meant to. It's just, it looks good in, in this bag. That's all it is. That's <laughs> all it is. Okay, so now I'm getting back to my DC stuff, okay? Right, so Nightwing number one. Just, I know this book was like super hot. When it first came out, and you know, I like red and black, so I went with this one. Um, so you see, some it's been a lot of Nightwing, I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, my boy Sunshine was like, Hey man, have you seen this book? And I was like, Hey, yes, yeah, really. And uh, he was like, Do you mind picking me up one? I said, I don't mind at all. So the shop I went to, they had one, two. And three copies, but I sent one off to Sunshine Morgan. Sunshine, I collect things already, so he has the third copy I collected of um, Detective Comics from 851. Just a cool, I think, is this a um, Gillian March cover? I think it is, but I like the robes in the background. I think the Doom has this too, but he, like, he said it'd be better if Nightwing wasn't here, which I wouldn't totally disagree with that, honestly. The Rose Gallery is amazing. Oh no, it's Tony Daniels. Damn, son, even better. <laughs> but uh, the Rose Gallery is amazing in itself, man. Just so much like in this background. So if Nightwing wasn't here, this would still be a cool cover. So the Doom, I don't disagree with you. Just FYI, I like your taste. I always have. So last but not least, I have three books just to make sure. Three books, okay. I said this is a short video, guys, so. Mm, doesn't matter. So, uh, Power Girl 27. Um, just, I don't know who the artist is on this one. I just thought it was a beautiful cover, and I seen my boy Freddy's with it. And I think he has, like, what, five copies or something? <laughs> but no, I know he has multiples. But it's just a beautiful cover. I never really dug this cover until I seen it in person. Um... But yeah, you see, the corner's kind of blunted right here, which is okay. I'm just, it's probably going to PGX here, so just get it pressed and clean and um, see what comes out of it. You know, I like for my all-white cover, my mostly white cover books to get um, protected a little bit more than anything else. 
And I maybe need to do the same thing with this one because it's an all black one. And this thing is super duper clean. Like, can I do this right for you guys? Look. Super clean copy. It was in 10 or 15. So, boom it out. And the next is my little short story. So, I, I shared the story so far with my boy, Master X. And what I told him was, I went to a shop, right? Just going around and, and I was looking at some different stuff down the wall, me and Lady C, or Lady C and I. And the shop owner left, I guess for lunch or whatever's around noon. And he left this like 20 some year old dude just in the shop. He just looked like he was just stoned, like stoned. I told Lady C, I said, <laughs> I said, all oh, gas, no brakes. What that means for guys who hasn't been around the, the stoner community, GAS is also known as a, as an acronym. GAS is known as good ass smoke, meaning good weed, good marijuana, good cannabis, how you want to word it right. So all GAS, no breaks is just saying this guy's been like puffing like a choo-choo train. <laughs> so, so it was like, all right, cool. So I went up to the counter because I saw this wall book. And I was like, hey, man, how much for that book? You know, he, he slowly turned around, eyes wasn't even open, and he was like, um, how much you want to spend for it? I said, 50 bucks? Right. And I got, I'm going to show you the guy out the book. He was like, 50 bucks? Like, you gonna spend 50 bucks on a comic book? I was like, well, for that book, I wouldn't mind paying 50, you know, if it's okay. It's like, <laughs> 50 bucks? That's your money, man. You know, like, it's I'm spending too much. <laughs> 50, 50 bucks for one in 500 Jim Lee? Oh my God. Dude, I I got out of there so fast. I was super scared that like the owner's gonna, you know, tell his empl his guy was like totally high as mine and come back super fast. And I'll be out of this book because I'm pretty sure this book goes, if you look on eBay, for minimum, it's like 100 and some odd dollars. Like I seen up to like $400 to... You know, three or four dollar range raw and graded, really, if you check it out, seriously. So, um, <laughs> it's been like, it's my purchase of the week, I'll say. So, super happy about this, guys. Like I said, just a real quick haul. Nothing, I wasn't nothing major, but I mean, eh. Turn my off. But I'm happy to own these. These are my three things. I'm totally, totally happy. Three books. These are my top three, so I'm going to say sorry. Um... I got some books I want to send to get graded, but I don't. I told um, Sunshine Collect Things, I, mean, I had like anxiety or something. I don't know what to call it because I was like, I don't want to let them, not I want to let them go. It was just, I had a bad feeling like, hey, what if something happens in the mail? And he told me about a horror show he had with some of the books he sent to go get graded. So I think I'm just going to buy some more top letters, really. I just, I don't keep doing my thing. I don't really get too many books graded anyway. So. But that's my little rant, my little rave. But you guys stay good out there. Keep hunting, keep having fun, keep sharing. I'm enjoying it. Check out some of the new YouTubers that's in the community. There's been a lot of guys, you know, popping up. Like, I want to say like weeds, just like dandelions. <laughs> okay, there's been a new piece. But the community is getting, the community is expanding. And it's, 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 it's good. It's really good. I like seeing new styles of collecting, new people takes on books that we've seen before. So just, you know, be sure to just check them out. If you like them, you know, throw them a like. Give them some comments, too. Let them know how they can improve their channel, man. I mean, it helped me out. It helped a couple of other people out because um, I believe that's how we make the community better, man. Just say, hey, look, no disrespect. These are some things you might want to try. It could probably improve your channel. And boom. I mean, I enjoy watching Whoever, really, as long as you got some good books, some good content, I'm going to check it out. But that's my video. I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes because I didn't want to make this long anyway. But uh, good night and good day. Y'all enjoy your weekend. Take care of your family. Take care of your books. Take care of yourselves. And i catch y'all later. All right, Troopers, see you out.